Copilot, 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 Copilot. I could make a 20 minute video and say nothing else and I'd still not use the word as often as it's been used during Build 2024's opening day. If there was any doubt that Microsoft is now the Copilot company, we have more things called Copilot, including the new Copilot Plus PCs, check out my video on that when you're done here, than we could have ever imagined. But there is one key aspect of Microsoft's growing Copilot lineup that I keep coming back to as the most pivotal reason why this technology truly is a difference maker for businesses rather than a party trick, and that's Copilot extensibility. And in what has been announced around Copilot extensibility and Copilot Studio at Build so far, Microsoft hasn't disappointed. And that's not all. Overall, I think these build announcements are the most impressive since the Microsoft 365 Copilot announcement made back in March 2023. So whether you're a current user of Copilot for Microsoft 365, a prospective user, or you're just looking at your AI options, stick with me to learn what has been revealed that's upcoming for this technology that is going to revolutionise how all knowledge workers do their jobs in the months and years to come. Before we dig in further, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on the needs of smaller businesses. I'm also the author of Who's in the Copilot Seat, a guidebook for small and medium-sized business leaders on how to adopt AI technology. If you're interested in learning more about working with me or getting a copy of my book, there are links below where you can get more information. Back in March and April, I published videos looking at Copilot extensibility and how Copilot Studio fits into this offer. I'll put a link to those down below in case you miss them. But one of the intriguing aspects of what from a technical perspective is a reasonably complex set of tools was the mention of a coming soon GPT option in the interface of Copilot Studio foreshadowing something to come that could be amazing. For this reason, I was hopeful of something big coming at build. But big is a big understatement. The announced changes for Copilot Studio far exceed what I imagined. The product changes that were announced at build will make Copilot Studio the hub for maximizing the value of Copilot for Microsoft 365 and other Copilot experiences. But they didn't stop there. The context you work within with Copilot is developing from the personal to the team, and Copilot agents that can take actions independently will allow Copilot to truly be a colleague in getting things done. As always with these announcements, it is necessary to temper excitement with the fact that most of what has been announced is expected to arrive sometime in the future. So these are not capabilities you'll have in your hands today. But if you're planning out your broader adoption of these tools, it's important to know what's on the path for them in the future. So let's step through what's been announced and why I think Microsoft has laid out a truly revolutionary path once again. In Copilot Pro and in ChatGPT, custom GPTs are an extremely simple and straightforward customization option to allow, at the most basic level, you to save a set of instructions and context for the chatbot that you can repeat and reuse as you want. By comparison to this capability in Copilot Pro and ChatGPT, Copilot Studio is technically complex. But with the newly announced feature to allow you to create a Copilot directly from SharePoint, Microsoft has taken this to a new level of simplicity for Copilot for Microsoft 365 users. This truly highlights a scenario where any user with any level of technical sophistication could quickly connect data they select to Copilot's AI capabilities to add value. Layered on top of that is Copilot Studio, which Microsoft has redesigned as the hub for customizing and extending all Copilots, as really should have been the case from the outset. Here, you could take that same Copilot and customize it, publish it to Copilot for Microsoft 365 or other channels, and have a truly integrated layered approach that allows you to start simply and build from there. Before we dive into more of the detail, if you're finding this video useful, it would be great if you'd give it a like to help it get in front of more people. And if you're interested in seeing more like this, please subscribe to the channel. Another area where our first steps in Copilot extensibility have been a little shaky is in there being such a lot of different ways in different places to expose data to Copilot. 
It's great that Microsoft has thoughtfully extended already available tools into the Copilot age, but the lines between graph connector or plugin or power platform connector with these appearing in different places has made life fairly confusing. Now, Microsoft has announced a new class of data connector, just Copilot connectors, and promised a more simplistic, store driven, and wizard like experience to bring new data into Copilot. This doesn't appear to be something completely new, but just bringing together existing capabilities across graph connectors, Dataverse, Fabric, and real time actions on API endpoints. This is incredibly useful as when businesses are thinking about data connections, having to hunt around across different platforms just creates more friction than there should be. It's even been mentioned that you are able to wrap data connectors in AI prompts to customize the response you get from the data source using generative outputs. I imagine a scenario where business IT pros will be able to set up a suite of connectors for their teams to use, using AI to help manage the responses in a way that avoids having to spend a lot of time manipulating data. We'll have to see exactly how this works, but I'm hopeful this will be very helpful to quickly standing up new data sources for Copilot. And then comes the context. Right now, if you want to use Copilot plugins, then that happens in Teams in Graph Grounded Chat. But so much of our work with Copilot for Microsoft 365 happens in other apps. We saw it coming, but I think mentioned for the first time today by Microsoft is that Copilot's extensibility is going to support bringing extension directly into the apps you're working in. Again, I think this is going to be a game changer for allowing anyone using Copilot to supercharge the benefit they get from it. The reality is that for most businesses to realize the potential of a tool like Copilot for Microsoft 365, the extensibility technologies it offers are not just a nice to have, but a necessity. Right now, most users of Copilot are pretty new to it, and we're still seeing gains through using the tools across the Microsoft 365 suite. But the more Copilot becomes a useful interface for getting stuff done in Microsoft 365, the more jarring it will become for workers when that suite of line of business apps they rely on don't talk to Copilot. Whether it's QuickBooks or MailChimp or When I Work or something entirely different. Imagine you're a contractor with a fancy new skill saw, but half your job sites only allow manual hand tools. The more benefit that modern tool gives you every day, the more you're going to notice the difference when you can't use it. Next, we'll talk about some changes to where and how we can use Copilot. But first, I'd like to tell you a little more about how I can help you with your AI journey. I specialize in helping small and medium sized businesses get more from their technology. And right now, what that looks like for most of my customers is supporting their adoption of Copilot for Microsoft 365 and understanding how AI can help them to achieve and exceed their goals. My services include project consulting, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and team training and workshop facilitation. There are links down below to find out more about these services. I look forward to connecting with you to help you find the right path for AI for your business. With the announcement of Copilot capabilities for Teams and Copilots as agents, Microsoft is changing pace with Copilot. One of the pieces of feedback I hear a lot is that users get frustrated that there aren't shared contexts or automation options for Copilot once they're comfortable with the type of work it's able to do. Bringing Copilot to the team context makes so much sense. One of the best places to use Copilot is in Microsoft Teams, but even there it's a solo experience. Now you'll be able to have Copilot act as a meeting facilitator, a note taker, the assistant keeping check on the agenda. I will say this idea of Copilot taking meeting notes at least is not new. We've seen that before, and it's on the long list of promised but not delivered items for Copilot for Microsoft 365. But with this announcement, Microsoft has fleshed out what this capability looks like a lot better. With agents, Microsoft is expressing something new, but in my mind it's something new about its ambitions rather than about technology. The example given in its announcement blog post by Omar Aftab, Microsoft's VP of Conversational AI, was Consider the potential of a co-pilot that can react when an email arrives, look up the sender's details, see their previous communication, and use generative AI to trigger the appropriate chain of actions in their response. Well, we can do this. 
It just lives in a product called Power Automate rather than Copilot and would rely on external AI, whether that be from Azure or another service like the OpenAI API. The ambition of expressing these types of workflows in the context of Copilot opens the door for people thinking about AI in new ways. Remember that on the Power Platform side, we've had AI Builder for years. Power Automate flows as Copilot plugins without context is a complicated issue to wrap your head around, and the idea of an automated flow acting on Copilot creates many possibilities. Microsoft is going to publish a number of templates for these capabilities, including ones for IT help desk, employee onboarding, and a personal concierge for sales and service. These will also have the capability to take feedback and to learn from that feedback when interacting with users. And from a security perspective, agent capabilities will have appropriate guardrails around any delegated user actions. Interestingly, for Power Automate, Microsoft has also announced an AI recorder function that allows you to build flows by tracking what you're doing on screen. This, combined with the Copilot announcements we've looked at already, open up a world of possibilities for truly allowing an AI agent to take care of complex elements of processes. Now, with all of Microsoft's recent announcements, I think a grain of salt is needed. As I have this growing list of things about Copilot that have been announced, that still, months or years later after those announcements at this point, show no signs of getting shorter. Many of you will tell me this is just part of modern software development, but I don't think I will ever be convinced that it's anything other than a promise big and deliver somewhat smaller culture that has infected the largest tech companies and wouldn't stand up to scrutiny with any other type of product. So my caution to you is, don't rely on seeing anything I've shown you here anytime soon. And probably the narrative of where Microsoft is going is more important overall than any of the individual features. On that level at least, this is just a big wow. In his keynote, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella outlined two fundamental challenges for computing. First is, can computers understand us instead of us having to understand computers? And second, in a world where we have these ever-increasing information um, that are of people, places, and things, right? So as you digitize more artifacts on people, places, and things, and you have more information, can computers help us reason, plan, and act more effectively on all that information? And in what was announced, I think his company is starting to address those points. So. Just a big wow from me. What do you think? What's your excitement level on these announcements? Does it change how you're thinking about Copilot? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end, and until the next video, bye bye.